In this video, we will see about the four quadrant operation of electric drives. We know in electric drives, electric motors are used. So they can be operated in two modes. That is in motoring mode where it converts electrical energy to mechanical energy and in braking mode where mechanical energy is converted into electrical energy or the motor acts as a generator. And in addition, the motor can operate in forward direction or in reverse direction. So both forward and reverse motoring is possible as well as forward and reverse braking is possible with that motor. Let us see the four quadrant of speed torque plane. Always take the speed in the y-axis and torque in the x-axis and mark the planes. So this is the first quadrant always going in anti-clockwise direction. So this is second quadrant and this is third quadrant and this one is the fourth quadrant. So we are moving in anti-clockwise direction. And similarly, the speed and the torque in anti-clockwise direction are taken to be positive. So in first quadrant, if you see the power, so what is the formula for power speed into torque so omega t so here omega is positive t is positive so power will be positive so it is called forward motoring mode in second mode you can see speed is positive whereas torque is negative so power is negative so this is braking since speed is positive we call it as forward and since power is negative, it is braking. So this is forward braking mode. Here speed and torque both are negative. So negative into negative will give you positive power. So when power is positive, it is motoring mode. But you see the speed, it is negative. So it is reverse motoring. In the fourth quadrant, T is positive whereas speed is negative. So if speed is negative, it is braking mode. Power is negative, so it is reverse. So this is reverse braking mode. What is the need for multi quadrant drive? If you see this diagram, you can see that this is a hoist used in a construction site. So here, what is the function of this hoist? It has to carry the construction material from the ground level to the top level. Or in some cases, it has to bring the material available in at the top floor from uh, to the ground floor. So in such applications, you need multi quadrant drives. Let us see a four quadrant operation of the drive for that we are taking an example of a low speed hoist it can be represented by this diagram that this a pulley will be there over that a rope will be moving here and there so this is the cage where you can keep the materials and it can be moved up or down depending upon the requirement and the other side you have a counterweight so if you take a low speed hoist its low torque will be independent of a speed. That is, if you take the speed torque characteristics, it will be a straight line. It means that it is independent of whatever speed it is, the low torque remains the same. So here you have to consider two things. This weight of the loaded cage, that is the cage is here, if you load it, this weight should be greater than the weight of the counterweight. And another thing is the weight of the empty cage. That is when it is not loaded, when there is no load on this cage, the weight of the counter uh, counterweight will be greater than the weight of the empty cage. So under these two conditions, we are analyzing the operation of four quadrant drive. Let us see what are the four operations of the 
hoist. So he, here you have a cage which can be loaded. So first thing you can load this cage and take this loaded material to the top of the building. So moving loaded cage upward is one quadrant operation. Next, sometimes it is necessary to bring the material from top to bottom. So in that case, you have to send an empty cage to the top. So moving empty cage upward is another operation. Then you have to move an empty cage downward. That is, you are bringing the material from bottom to top. After unloading it here, you want to bring this cage empty down. So, moving empty cage downward is another operation and moving loaded cage downward is fourth operation. So, any dry has to operate in all the four quadrants so that the hoist can do all the functions effectively. Let us see the first quadrant operation. So, here the, we want to move this loaded cage upward. That is, this cage has to be moved outward. And we know that the weight of the loaded cage is greater than the weight of the counterweight. So, here speed is positive and the load torque will be activing, acting in this direction because the gravitation, due to gravitation, the loaded cage will be moving downward. We want to move it up but due to gravity, it will move down. So, we have to overcome the gravitational torque. So, the load torque direction is negative. It means that it will be in this direction, downward direction. Whereas, the motor torque has to be in opposite direction so that this loaded cage will be moved up. What is the power? We know. In first quadrant, omega and T are positive. So, here you can see omega positive, T positive. So, this gives to first quadrant operation or forward motoring will be performed. Let us see the second quadrant operation. So, in second quadrant, we are moving the empty cage in the upward direction. So, the movement is towards top. So, speed is positive. And here the weight of the counterweight is greater than the empty cage. So, load torque will be in this direction. So, TL is positive. So, the motor has to develop the torque in this direction so that the empty cage can move upward. Otherwise, what will happen? Due to Since this weight is high, this empty cage will go at a dangerously high speed. So, to limit that, we have to apply break. So, power is equal to omega into T. So, here T is negative. So, this is negative power. It means that braking. But speed is positive. So, it is forward braking. In third quadrant, we are moving the empty cage in the downward direction. That is from top, we are bringing the empty cage down. It means that here the counterweight is heavier than this empty cage. So, you have to move in this direction. So, for that the speed should be negative and the load torque will always act in the direction of the heavier one. So, this direction load torque will be there. That is the positive direction. So, the motor torque should be in this direction to bring the empty cage down. So, here speed is negative and you have to do motoring operation. So, both are negative. Negative into negative is positive. So, it is reverse motoring operation. In fourth quadrant, we are moving the loaded cage from top to bottom. Since this loaded cage is heavier, load torque will be in this direction and the speed will be in reverse direction whereas the motor torque will be in opposite direction so that this will not fall down quickly. So, 
here power is equal to minus t into omega that is omega is negative and t is positive so no, this is reverse breaking so overall all the four quadrant operations are here and tl1 and tl2 represents the load torque so let us recall the important points out of the four quadrants the first two quadrants are for upward movement of the cage you see here the speed so the first two quadrants have a positive speed so it is for upward movement and the third and fourth quadrant have negative speed and this is for downward movement of the cage and the load torque will always act in the direction in which uh, the weight of the cage or weight of the counterweight is higher so if it is loaded it is negative you see here loaded cage is there tl is negative loaded cage is here tl is negative here in second and third quadrant we have only empty cage so in that case the load torque is positive and if you see the motor torque that is opposite to of the load torque so here negative positive positive means negative positive negative and negative means positive so the power is speed into torque so you multiply these two you will get the power and in first quadrant you get forward motoring so how you get forward motoring you see the speed and power if speed is positive it is forward movement and if ta uh, power is positive it is motoring if power is negative it is braking so you can remember like this easily so if you like the material do subscribe to read electric vehicle channel these are the references